think this might be my favorite ballpark in the game. Just looking out over the bay, seeing the boats in the water. Beautiful ballpark, a great atmosphere. Don't get it twisted. San Francisco Giants fans bring it. First pitch coming your way next. Just a little bit away from first pitch and towing the slab in this one, Logan Webb. What's the word on him? This guy has a ton of respect from his own teammates, Boog. He's the type of guy, if he's not having a good day, he'll go out there and just wear it. No matter what happens, his starts tend to be less demanding on the bullpen. Ready to go now. Stepping in, the slugging shortstop, Mookie Betts. The pitch. Smoked on the ground a second. Throws to first, and Betts is gone. Time to check out the Dodgers lineup. All right, Singy, how about all the talent in this lineup? They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Right side, hard hit. Whips it to first, and Freeman is retired. Batting third, the catcher, Will. Smith. Two outs, base is empty. And up to the plate is Will Smith. First round pick out of Louisville in 2016. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A massive home run. And that gives him a lead. It's 1-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Two outs, nobody on. Here's Muncy to hit. He has, as they like to say... Let me guess, Boog. Light tower power? That's right. There's a strike. Webb, 27 years old, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2014. Next pitch is downstairs. Hot shot to third. Chapman over to first in time. They get the out on Muncie. And that is that. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 1-0. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Oracle Park, and our pitcher tonight, Shohei Otani. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Lamont Wade Jr. stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. At the belt and fires. Fastball for a strike. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. The pitch. Got him. And there's one down. Tyro Estrada to the plate. Way inside, and that hit him. Boo, you uh, have any memorable hit by pitches yourself? Maybe high school, college? No, but I almost did get decapitated by a foul ball at Old Tiger Stadium. Runner on the goal. 
The throw, tag, and he's out. Usually when you see a team try to steal a base in the early innings, it tells you they want to be aggressive on offense, try to force the defense to make plays and slow them down. That's exactly what they did right there. So we'll see if that caught stealing changes the offensive approach moving forward. And the pitch. Strike two. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Swing and a miss at the splitter, and it's a strikeout. here in San Francisco new inning getting started here's the center fielder James Outman the wind of the pitch ball one there one ball no strike ground ball up the middle that's a base hit man aboard on the leadoff single And now Teoscar Hernandez. Just a slow ground ball this time. Chapman over to second. Back to first. And that is a double play. As a former player, watching 5-4-3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. Here comes Chris Taylor. That's in for a strike. No ball. One strike. No. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. The one one is fouled off. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. After an inning and a half, it's one nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom half of inning number two. Jorge Soler up at the plate. pitch tries to hold up appeal to first he went around according to Carl Dixon and there's a rocket into the outfield makes the turn and heads for second the throw in not in time he's safe Everything came together perfectly for him right there. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Michael Conforto will climb in. That one in there across the letters. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. Otani, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. And the righty deals. Pitch misses and a count one and two. Yeah, if you're going to be in the game in high leverage situations, you've got to be able to get the swing and miss and put hitters away. Inside, almost got him. Two. 
Still two and two after the foul ball. And it's second. Chases that one out of the zone. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. Here's Matt Chapman. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. And he deals. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. Joe McDonald, our umpire behind the dish. Yeah, Boog. Joey Mack. Sometimes a little tough to figure out. We may see some hitters and pitchers asking him where a pitch was here or there, but most of the time he keeps it reasonable. Kicks and deals. And there's a ball. Wouldn't chase that time. The Dodgers up by a run. Bottom half of inning number two. That one not close. Counts full three and two. Got him. Chapman is gone. So back to back strikeouts now and they still haven't managed to do anything with the leadoff double. Yeah Boog and you just don't want to get careless here. You've done a really good job to get two outs after that leadoff double as you mentioned and just got to execute your pitches and it's a non issue. Austin Slater now at the plate as he swings through strike one. And here it comes. That's the third. Tosses to first. That's out number three. One left for San Francisco. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Top half of the third inning. And now Jason Hayward. Jason Hayward. And a pitch. And a foul ball. And he grounds one back up the middle. Boots it. Safe at first. No play. We'll see how they score this. And now it's Gavin Lux. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. No ball. One strike. Right hander kicks deals. Ground ball up the middle. Base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Everything came together for him. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Here's Mookie now. Outfield playing very deep. Not wanting anything over their heads. Double steal. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Yastrzemski moving under this one. He makes the grab. Runner tags it second. To third, not in time. And it's runners at the corners with one gone. Now we'll see if moving up to third there pays off for him. He didn't have to tag and go, but now he can score a lot of different ways. Doesn't have to be a base hit. We'll see what happens. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. 0 for 1 so far. And a foul ball. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. Left-hand hitter waits. And that one is in for a strike. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Here's the 0-2. 
High fly ball out into left center field. Slater grabs it on the run. The batter now will be Will Smith. He's already homered in this game. That one's in there. 0 and 1. That one is absolutely belted. Into the bleachers and gone. Another homer. His second home run of the game, and they add to the lead. It's 4 0. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. So two down. Muncy digs in. That's in there. And it's 0-1. Two down, nobody on. This to third. Chapman over to first in time. They get the out on Muncie. And the inning is over. Big three-run shot for the Dodgers. It's now a 4-0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. As we go to the last of the third and digging in for San Francisco, Patrick Bailey. And a pitch. That clips the zone, and that's strike one. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end, trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front, so off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Puts it away for the out. And a quick out number one. Batting done. Not shortstop. Now Marco Luciano. First offering misses badly for ball one. The Dodgers leading by four here in the last half of the third. And that's off the inside edge. Now 2-0. Oh. One down, base is empty. Foul ball. On the ground. And there's two away. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. So the batting order turns over. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. That immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. Two outs. Hard hit, right side. Throw off line. He's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. Looked to me like he got on the side of the ball a little too much right there. Maybe a little too casual as well with the throwing motion. And... When you don't stay on top of the ball and really get out front and finish with a good release point, it's very easy to lose control of it to either side. Two outs, runner at first. And up next for San Francisco, Tyro Estrada. And it's fouled away. Wade off of first with two away.
way outside and now it's even one and one. There's a strike. And the right hander deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the inning. So the Giants leave one. They trail it here for nothing. Out of the fourth and at the plate for the Dodgers, James Outman. Webb back to work. Outman goes six feet, three inches, 26 years old, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2018. Off the mark there, and the count is 2-0. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. Next offering upstairs. Three ball, no strike. And there's the automatic. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. And that's ball, ball four. four. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. And first offering is fouled off. I love this part of the game. Does he really want to try and steal second against this catcher? I know he's fast, but it's pretty risky. The pitch. Swings through that one for strike two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Nobody out. Runner at first. You know, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. Couple of changeups. Probably won't see another one here. That's down and in. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. On the ground to the left. And that's just foul. Bounce to the left side. And it goes just foul. Now well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Next one misses. It's two and two. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. That one just misses. Close pitch there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed. You know, getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game and sometimes from at bat to at bat. Kicks and fires. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Quite the matchup we're seeing here. Six foul balls in this at bat alone. Really making him work out there. Move to first, and he's back in easily. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. 3-2 now. On the ground, two ball. 
to second. There's one, and they get him easily at first. It's a double play. Well, almost any time you roll over and send a two ball to short at this level, you can pretty much count on a double play. Middle infielders are just so reliable, and they work on these plays all the time, so it almost becomes like second nature. That one pushed foul. Righty delivers. And the pitch is outside. Ball one. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. There's a swing and a drive. Could be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. As soon as that one shot off his barrel, he was thinking extra bases. Really nice job of getting the bat out front, but not hooking around it or rolling over it. Just kept the swing on plane and smoked that thing into the gap. Here's Jason Hayward. Reached on an infield single his first time. And ball one. The 1 0. And that one fouled off. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Action in the San Francisco bullpen. Mason Black getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Harrison warming up as well. Man on second, two down. And another ball. Runner at second, two down. And that's downstairs and outside. And a pitch. The right hander gives up the two out walk. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Lutz in the box now. No balls and a strike. And the 2 Outside. First and second. Two down. Wouldn't chase that time. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. And that one's a little bit low. Three and two now. Mookie Betts waiting to bat for the Dodgers. On the ground, right side, Estrada throws the first in time, and that'll do it. So they strand a pair to the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Dodgers four and the Giants nothing. And we're back. And now the center fielder, Mike Yastrzemski. Here comes a pitch. And a good eye there. All these Giants just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations. And that's been true again today. At the belt and fires. So a foul ball makes it one and two. 
And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. The one two. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. That's one of those lookout pitches. As soon as it leaves the pitcher's hand, you start bracing for impact, knowing that it's going to be hard to get out of the way of that one. Solaire batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that, you could have a really good day out there in the mound. That pitch in for a strike, and the count is 0-2. Got him swinging. Oh, there's a three pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Man at first. Now it's the right fielder, Michael Conforto. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. And a foul ball. Fouled off left side. The pitch. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Left hand batter waits. Swung on, belted. Back there. Out of here. And they slice into the lead. It's 4 2. So impressive how he was able to go down and get this fastball, but yet get it up in the air, hit it far enough to get out of this ballpark. Base is empty one away, and here is Matt Chapman. Went down on strikes his first time through. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. Hernandez makes a nice run and catch. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Slater stands in here, takes ball one low. And that is in for a strike. And the count one and one. And the righty deals. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's long gone. That'll fire up the dugout. It's their second home run of the inning. It's 4-3. Sometimes we say it's a sinker that didn't sink. Well, that was a splitter that just didn't split. Kind of like a BP fastball. And when you throw that pitch, don't expect to get it back. You're getting a new baseball from the umpire. So two away with nobody on. Now it's the Giants catcher, Patrick Bailey. two now as he swings through it that split he's a pretty nasty pitch explodes out of the hand looks like a fastball and the bottom just falls out of it that misses one and two to count two down nobody on and that's off the inside edge 
And it's two and two. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. And the home team down a run. You're dialed into the show. Back here in San Francisco. Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Mookie Betts. The wind of the pitch. That's off the mark. Ball one. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Lifted in the air, right field. And it's caught for the out. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Inside just missed. And another ball. Base is empty, one away. And we're at the top of the fifth. Just missed. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. That's what you get in batting practice. But off the velocity of the fastball, that is a very tough pitch to adjust to. Over to first. Barely got him for the out. Close play. Here's the catcher to hit, Will Smith. That one fouled off. The wide to kick the pitch. Inside, just missed. And a base hit up the middle. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Muncie at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. The 0 1. And that's down it away. Falling behind 2 and 1. Right through there for a strike. That one misses three and two now. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Outside, and that is ball four. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. First and second, two down. And next for L.A., James Outman. Oh. 
And a swing to miss. This one belted deep left field on its way gone. He circles the bases and they add to their lead. It's seven three two pitches two swings that one for a home run looking to be aggressive all the way and it paid off for him in a big way. Really great job of anticipation there. He knows he throws the sinker. That one down in the zone. You're trying to beat it to the spot it's getting to. Well, he won. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Logan Webb won't go any further, and this is one he'd like to forget. Back with a new arm after this. So the Giants with a new pitcher on the hill, Mason Black. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. So two down. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Right through there for a strike. Two outs. That's through there for a strike. That misses. Now one and two. Two outs, bases empty. That one ripped left field. And it's into the bleachers. Out of here. They go back to back. And they tack on to their lead. It's 8-3. That one just sounded different. And might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the boot. Singy, I hope you saw it because it didn't stay in the air for long. No, it did, Boog. StatCast telling us 110 miles per hour off the bat. And that's plenty to hit one out if you get enough air under it. As a hitter, you hardly feel the ball when you make contact as solid as he did right there. Taylor, now in the box, comes up Come empty with a swing there. Two stays alive. The pitch swings and misses, struck him out. But two round trippers in this inning, the long ball was working. It's now a three. Back here at Oracle Park, here's the shortstop at the play, Marco Luciano. Otani back to work. The shortstop takes a ball. That just misses, and it's 2-0. Kicks and deals. A little out front there as he swings through it. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. And that one lifted in the air center field. Hauls it in for the out. One down. 
Now back, the first baseman, Lamont. Back to the top of the lineup, and here is Lamont Wade Jr. And first offering is fouled off. And that one is inside. Close one pitch more. there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed, you know. Getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game and sometimes from at bat to at bat. Yeah, the right hander deals in there for a strike at the top of the zone. One out, base is empty. And it's even up. Two, two. That one ran inside, almost got him. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Now two out. Two out, space is empty. Tyro Estrada, the next giant to hit. He's 0 for 1. Swing and a ball popped up. Muncy under it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Giants go down quietly. Can't chip away at an 8 3 deficit. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the top of the sixth. And now the right fielder, Jason Hayward. The pitch. That catches the top part of the zone. Strike one. Next offering misses down and away. That's in there, and it's one and two. The wind and the pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. One, two now. And there's a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Now that second base. Gavin. And up next for Los Angeles, Gavin Lux. One for two. And that drops in for a strike. No ball. One strike. Runner at first with no outs here. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. Slater ranging back, and that one is gone. And they add a pair. It's 10-3, and their fifth home run of the game. Some things in this sport are contagious, Boog, and right now for this team, clearly it's the long ball. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. Kyle Harrison takes over on the mound. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. 
every outing matters for relievers and their numbers but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Marcus Lynn Betts better known as Mookie he had the opportunity to play in the Seoul series when the Dodgers kicked off their 2024 season in Korea. Yeah and such a cool experience for both teams plus there was a car giveaway for the first player to hit a home run in the series the winner Mookie Betts. Next offering misses and it's a ball to strike with the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered. He's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. Just missed. That misses. Ball three. Turns and fires to bets. And now it's filled up. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us right down the middle doesn't get a swing not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that got him looking and he did not like the call well just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there and I don't think he was taking it thinking it might be a called ball or anything I just think he was flat out frozen did not expect that location in my opinion Freeman in the box with one away as he takes ball one Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Eric Miller getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball there. The lefty fires. To the right side, Estrada. To first, and Freeman is retired. Now batter. The catcher. Will Smith. Next up, the Dodgers catcher, Will Smith. He's got a couple homers already, so can he possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course he can. Those two he hit were legit, and he looks pretty locked in right now at the dish. First pitch misses. The Dodgers up big in this one, and we're in the top half of the six. Next offering is downstairs. And another ball. Next offering in there for a strike. And the count is three and one. The pitch inside corner for a strike and now it's three and two and there's ball four you get a walk and you get a walk everyone gets a walk boo. here comes Max Muncy he is very much your typical power hitter I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category but we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Next offering is down low. Wouldn't chase that time. There's the strike. Three and one. Take it all the way on 3 0 right there. And as a hitter, you're saying, why couldn't I get that pitch earlier in the count when I'm looking to swing? Up the middle, Luciano. They take the force out, and that is the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two run homer. And it is now 10 3. Bottom of the six. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. Yeah, the right hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. 
Well, every pitcher wants a run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. The batter, number two. Jorge Soler, the next giant to hit. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Ball one, no strikes. The Giants with a lot of ground to make up here in the bottom of the sixth. That misses. And that's ball two. That's inside. Now a screamer into the outfield. And it's into the gap. Around first, digging for two. Throws to second. Not in time. He's got a double. He has had such a good day today. I don't think he's going to want to leave when it's over. A couple of doubles today for the DH. And here is Michael Conforto. He's already homered here in this one. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. But plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. The batter, the third baseman, Matt Chapman. Now Matt Chapman at the plate. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. He swings and misses at the first pitch, 0-1. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Up the middle, base hit, and a run comes in. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Runner at first with two away. Austin Slater stands in. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it'd surprise a lot of people. You might even be able to put them in center field. And that one is lifted in the air. Outman makes the catch, and that'll do it. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Dodgers 10 and the Giants 4. We go to the top of the seventh, and at the plate for the Dodgers, James Outman. And he deals. Ball one. The lefty, the 1 0. Right through there for a strike. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Left hand hitter waits. That one misses. Two and two. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Puts it away for the out. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Here's the left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Drifts towards it. And a foul ball. Ball 
breaking ball in there for a strike. That one hit to right. That's out number two. Now that designated hitter. Chris Two outs, base is empty. Chris Taylor, the next to hit. And a strike in there. Well, two outs and a chance to put up a zero on the scoreboard here, and that's not something that's come easy for this staff in this one. Two down, nobody on. And they'll do it again. And now the lefty. That one missing inside. It's a good take. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Wade makes the play, and that'll do it. Dodgers down in order. They're up comfortably, though. It's 10-4. And we're back, bottom of the seventh. And now the switch hitting catcher, Patrick Bailey. And the pitch. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Next offering in there for a strike. Oh, and two down. Righty to the plate. Bows it back with two strikes. And a pitch. Ball. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one and two. Headed down the line. Hernandez on the move. Snags it on the run. And there's one away. Now batting, shortstop, Marco. And up next for the Giants, Marco Luciano. Fastball for a strike. It's 0-1. And that's a strike. Base is empty, one away. Here, the bottom of the seventh. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Had him way out front of the slur. Well, that pitch wasn't even close to being a strike, and that just goes to show you how defensive hitters can become when they're up against an 0-2 count. You're just hoping for a mistake somewhere near the zone that you can get the bat to, but right there, he was clearly anxious. He was swinging when the ball left the hand. Wait, the next to hit takes ball one. I can't play around with him here. It's a six run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. Hard hit left side. Rolls across the diamond. That ends the frame. Giants down in order. And that is not what they needed. Down 10-4. We're at the top of the eighth. Now it's the right fielder, Jason Hayward. Jason Hayward. Harrison back to work. Swings through that one for strike one. He can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. Ball. 
And one and two. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. Kicks and deals. And that one upstairs. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. And another ball. Three two. And a pop up on the left side of the infield under it. Makes the grab one down. The batter on the ball. Second baseman. Gavin. Lux. Now it's the second baseman. Gavin Lux. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Edge of the zone for a strike. 0 and 2. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Just overmatched on that fastball right there. And it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. Swing and a foul straight back. Two outs. That one missed. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0 2 count. Instead, it's 1 1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. The shortstop takes a ball. That one in for a strike, two and two. Two down, nobody on. Got him looking. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down, one, two, three. Back here at Oracle Park, ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now the number two hitter, Tyro Estrada. And a pitch. That one's in there, and that is strike one. Movement in the bullpen, Daniel Hudson getting ready to go. Vesia also throwing. Strike two. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. The 0-2. And ball one. Strike three on the foul tip. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Mike Yastrzemski up here. That one rip, but foul. He swings and fouls one off. Base is empty, one away. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Gets a piece, and it stays 0 and 2. Now, just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. The punch out there, and there are two outs. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Two outs, space is empty. Now the Giants' four-hitter, Jorge Soler. The 
Here comes the 01. Ball one. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Not in time. He's safe. Two outs, runner at first. Michael Conforto, the next giant to hit. There's a strike. And here it comes. That one misses one. the zone. And the count even one and one. Solaire off of first with two away. And down on strikes he goes. And that will end the inning. Back here in San Francisco, we go to the ninth. And now the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers, gets the call, going one. They only say it's the best pitch in baseball, strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. Gives a little bit more confidence to move to the at-bat. And a foul ball. Oh, and two now. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. And here's the catcher, Will Smith. Three for three with a pair of home runs and a single. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. The Dodgers up big in this one here at the top of the night. Next offering is in for a strike. No ball, two strikes. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. One down base is empty. And there's a ball. Down on strikes. Out number two. Two outs, base is empty. And next will be the Dodgers cleanup hitter, Max Muncy. 0 for 3 with three ground outs. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Nicely done for the out. Nothing doing here this half. Six, seven, eight scheduled to start the bottom of the ninth. It's the Dodgers 10 and the Giants 4. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Daniel Hudson. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him, so he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. Now it's Matt Chapman, one for three. The pitch. That one off the mark, and that's ball one. And there's a foul ball.
The 1 1. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And a pitch. Not close with that one. And the count is even two and two. Line drive. And out number one on the grab. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Slater at the plate now. That's ball one. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound. Joe Kelly. He's into the game with the bases empty. The Giants with a lot of ground to make up. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. That's off the mark. Two balls, no strikes. That one at triple digits. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more pitchers that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. And now two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Sets him down on strikes. And the Giants down to their final out. Now here is Patrick Bailey. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. Pitch is in there. That's strike one. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. That breaking ball is in for a strike and quickly... It is nothing in two. The Giants down to their final strike. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. When you hit five balls out of the yard, you expect to win. Some teams live and die by the long ball. Today, these five homers, they really led them to victory. 10-4 is how it ends. Roger Dodger, ground beef control. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.